Tim, so why did you choose copywriting? There's loads of things in the market, you know, there's sales, there's, there's um, you know, email marketing, there's, you know, coaching. Sure. Why copywriting in particular? I think there's two answers to that question. The first is uh, what what I'm, I, I have a natural ability or tendency towards. Uh-huh. And that is, that is, you know, I, I, I like to figure things out. I like understanding people. And, um, and really the other, the, 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 well, part of that is I wasn't really good at a lot of other stuff, uh, like the technical stuff. Yeah. But ultimately, I think the, the biggest deciding factor for copywriting for me is I really evaluated. I thought, you know what? Uh, what's the most important thing in business? And I'll ask that to you. What is the most important thing in business? at the end of the day. And you can answer that on, on online here uh, if you want. I know there's a delay, uh, oh but God. if people are answering, I'd like to get answers. What's the most important thing in business? Okay, hold on, let's see if we get some answers. Yeah. And, and while we're doing that, <laughs> yeah. are they coming in? There might be a delay. So. There's like a few seconds, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, people building, relationship building, service, service, service. Yep, yeah. that's Okay. It. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I, I hate to tell people no. <laughs> In business, wrong. <laughs> everything revolves, everything revolves around sales, period. Yes. So the goal of business, the goal of commerce is exchanging value, exchanging value for value and value in the form of money in exchange for something of equal or greater value to the money that you're giving. It's always about sales. So sales is everything. The, the primary objective of any business and the primary metric for any business and their success is sustainable, profitable revenue growth. And you can have revenue growth that's not sustainable and you could have revenue growth that's not profitable or you could be profitable and not sustainable. But what the goal and metric of any business anywhere, I don't care what it is, network marketing, selling services, selling you know goods, whatever the case may be, sustainable, profitable, revenue growth, sales is everything. So what is the number one factor that, that relates to sales? And not on a one-to-one basis, because I was really horrible at one-on-one sales. Believe it or not, I was terrible. Like I said, I was shy, uh, nothing like I am today outgoing. And even today, I probably wouldn't be great at sales, but I'm really good at marketing. It's because I understood that the most important thing was helping people to decide not to sell them something, but helping them to make a decision to solve problems. Excellent. And once I understood the psychology of solving problems and how to help people make a decision to solve a problem, marketing became super easy. Once I understood the right market that I wanted to target, understood their fears, desires, problems, challenges, and things that they held in their heart that they didn't talk about sometimes publicly. Once I understood at the core level what motivated them, and then I was able to create a compelling offer that's number two that solves a major problem. And then I was able to understand number three, which was having a lead generation system, a way to be able to, to give something, offer something of value in exchange for an email address, and then have a sales conversion process, and then have a process to increase customers' value over the lifetime, and then have a sufficient source of quality prospects, which is traffic generation, and then tweaking and testing and optimizing. Those are the seven steps that I've followed for every single one of my businesses that have done over a million dollars. So, so to answer your question, behind all of that, the fuel that ran everything was effectively motivating people to solve their problems and compelling, compelling them to take action. And so understanding that whole process was what I got really good at. And all the other stuff that I didn't know didn't matter because I figured out how to, to motivate people and lead because influence truly is leadership. Uh, and so when you learn influence, you learn how to lead people. So that's what I focused on really was influencing people. And that helped me to find the right people later to fill in the gaps and the voids and the problems that I didn't know. I partnered with people that were good at technology or I hired people that were good at technology. And so depending on where you are in your business, uh, you're really, you can't learn all the aspects of business. There's, you know, Facebook marketing, pay-per-click, there's blogging, there's podcasting, there's, you know, capture page creation, there's website development, there's customer service, there's all these aspects, you know, merchants, shopping cart, legal compliance, you go on and on and on. You cannot learn all of that stuff about business. Yeah. It's impossible yeah. for somebody to learn that. But what you can do is you can get really good at one thing, really good at one thing. And one of the things that matter and the three things that matter most in marketing, in my experience, are um, uh, traffic, conversion, and monetization or economics. 
Okay, so traffic conversion and profitability or sustainable profitable revenue growth, which is the, the, the metric, right? So you, you become good at at least one of those things and you become valuable suddenly. And you got to have a vision of where you're going and a strategy for getting you there. And if you're really good at the traffic part of it, then you need to find somebody who's good at the converting part of it or partner with somebody who's good at the converting part of it and so on and so forth. That's brilliant. So, so the evolution of business really for all of us is to get really good at just one skill, not five or 10, not chasing <laughs> shiny objects, not joining three different network marketing companies, not you know going and buying every, being a sucker for a good sales letter and buying everything that promises to solve the surface level problems without first going back to the core of what it is that you want, the strategy of getting you to where you want, and then strategically making decisions on how to move forward in your business versus doing it with opportunistic vision because that gets you nowhere. You can only see three feet ahead of you and the target's always moving. <laughs> Whereas when you're strategic, it's, it's very easy to adjust to that target and still be able to hit it even when the target is moving.